Hey, this is Jared with the Daily App Show. We're going to take a look at Journal Diary today. This is a diary or a journal also that allows you to not just take little journal entries, but also record voice memos, schedule events, and it has a safe, a vault as well for securely placing stuff inside of this app. So let's take a look at settings first. Uh, what's cool is you can actually set a password for the app, which sets one level of security. So if I turn that on and put in a password, I can enter that. And then also view, uh, I can put in a secret question and answer to help me just in case I forget. Under fonts, we could change our font settings. We can change our uh, background photos, even have it rotate with different pictures. And then we'd set our email settings so that we can export this out of our email or out to our email as well. All right, so under diary, we can go in and enter diary entries. We have our calendar up here so we can set diary entries for different days. So for example, is the 24th, we'll hit done. If I hit the back arrow, you can see that I had a small diary entry yesterday. And if I am on today's date, I could just simply hit the plus and start typing in a diary. So let's just put test in here. And then I can choose an emo emoticon to kind of let me and let everybody who reads this, if I let anybody read it, know how I'm feeling. So I'm happy today. Let's hit done. And then we'll hit done. So I have a journal entry for today. Set the back arrow. Take a look at events. So under events, you can schedule or set events just as reminders. These, of course, if you set a password for your journal, will keep them secure in here. But it's a nice little thing to enter those uh, types of reminders into. Um, maybe it's not something you want to put on your main schedule calendar, but just something that you want to put in here, like um, anything that you can journal. It doesn't have to be an event. It could be uh, something that happened, just an occurrence or an instance of something, and you want to keep track of that. So you can do that in here really easily by hitting plus, typing in the location, a title, and a description, and then, of course, you could change the date and time as well right here. So let's cancel out of that and go back. We can also record voice memos that will be saved inside this app too. And of course you could do those on a per day basis. So for example, let's just hit plus and you can see we have our audio recorder right here and it is starting to record the audio right now. And then when I hit stop, it stops recording. And there we go. So I can re-record that or save it. If I save it, it asks me to enter a title. Let's do that. Hit save. We'll go back. And then we have the vault. Now I've went ahead and set a password for my vault already. Not a very secure password. It's basically just A, B, C, D, E, F. And once I've entered my password, I can enter and see my secure notes that I've entered here. I can go into settings and change that password, but I'm okay with it. I can go in and enter anything, a type and a value, just basically means that I can enter in a message right there. So here's a secure note and some secure information. That's basically what I entered last time. I can edit this and make changes to it, save it, delete it, and I'll have my entire list of secure items here. So I could put in you know, passwords or any type of personal information that needs to be secure, I could put in here. Then of course we have our settings and our help menu. So if you're looking for an application that not only allows you to record audio, log events, and log journals, I think you're going to like Journal Diary, so check it out in the App Store today.